So I'm making this this historical video. Uh, this is a honky tonk playing and stuff. Um, and Shanker wants to find out what Dark Hole actually is. Chess Hacker. Chess Hacker. It's terrible. It's like, oh, it's horrible. So, it happened to me. That's the one I dated. Link <laughs> Battleground in Battle Down Champagne Green. Daisy Green. Green Daisy. It's just the green there. Um, okay, so dark hole. Most people think dark holes have got something to do with time travel. They don't know. I don't know anyone else that's gone to the extent of having a dark hole cutter and a white hole filler that we've done. And he's probably more than one. And he does a zero point application. Can be done on low energy though. Well, serialized. The thesis I started with when I was inquiring so long ago in the academic channels about dark holes exactly, how they can be used, I assume they were this as well. And there was a thesis I was given, I don't know if it's listed now, it wasn't listed then because it was terribly f profound and had most of the maths basically worked out in lower level maths as well with a couple of exceptions and workarounds and the title of that physics that physics thing you know, if you search physics index thing is called Dark Holes The Only Plumber in Physics it's by Jeffrey Simmons Simpsons like a little version of how long it is Jeffrey J. No, Jeffrey T. Simpson, person that wrote it. And it goes to explain that basically you can get two milk crates shaker, cut a dark hole between them, and no matter where you put those milkshakes, those, those milk crates, there's a free flowing air hole exactly in the position where you let cut in, in the inside facing outwards. With no shadow or anything behind it. We can put your hand through, you can put water through, you won't get hurt, you can get cut off by going up and down. It's clearly a, a, hot, a solid piece of pipe you can't see. With free flowing air flowing through. No one's actually ever realized how I've been shipping the symbionts around. We cut dark holes in the sewer. And they go through sewer sensors so we know who, where they're going, who's coming there, and their names, and stuff, and who they're adopting. Who they belong to. So, repeated visits over multiple life signs, and that's how we proved even symbionts are unique to the soul. Over a mortal lifetime, if you have multiple symbionts in different species in a mortal crawl, it will always be the same symbiont. You must have hatching differently. Same thing. Come back to you. If you didn't know that. True. So, Dax is a bastard, eh, Terry? That was actually trained somehow to even enter the body that way in some self sustainment. If your own symbiont Dax, I mean, A. Terry, jumped into you when you had Dax, it would have been consumed by your own symbiont, completely a whole gobbled up. Consumed being a component of your symbiont. That's one of Gould's form. Gould's are like a food supplementary extra pack. When the symbiont enters, and the symbiont will always be the same one, so. If you end up in a mortal lifestyle and get a symbiont, you'll still have the ghoul effect of physics that it consumes as a base of food. That's why it enters in through the mouth, punches a hole through the stomach, and wraps around the stomach with food. And when the symbiont enters, it jumps up through the toilet. There's a very simple um, nursery rhyme, Little Miss Muppet sat on a toilet eating her poo and wee. Along came a symbiont spider, jumped right inside, and the rest was too early. So you all heard variants of that poem. That's the translation. Little Miss Muppet. Everyone has that poem. Not even just the universe. So that's a poem about symbionts. If you know. Explain to John. They jump up to your bum. And wear a whiplash. And let your shock. Woo! And you feel really tired. And pass out. And then you're so for 24 hours. Roughly. Same about all. Anyway. Enough of symbionts. Um. Dark holes. Yeah. So you get... 
two mill crates and you can cut a dark hole anywhere like just say you make the dark hole facing You've got two mill crates here like one on either side you cut a dark hole here and cut a dark hole here facing inwards now between that you can put your hand that and come out the other end and there's no distance between the hole ever so you can beam down it <laughs> there's no beam length there's no distance I'm using zoom taxis instant beam anyway but there's no time base so what John can work on um, is something that truck cuts like at the moment it's just sort of cutting spheres but you can complex the tape of the template for cutting because it's serialized between two points you can on white hole fill it again to get rid of it and that just takes a blink of an eye so then you can sort of cut these things in oceans and have like submarines traveling in deep space as well it's an API I wanted to build at Chrome Labs off of the Navy so I can do deep space marine <laughs> go submarine off well maybe you can even return Daniel Jackson and Tabuk USC CNO watching this anyway because he gets the tweet and nobody ever tweets him oh she uh oh, she's military she's got military access it's an excuse just go on about huh USC CNO chief of naval operations so anyway so you can even have deep space like marining when you cut a dark hole between oceans like there'll be some sort of pressure where it build up and there'll be a vortex and have to fill it in and we can get to see a scuba to make, mark the point where it is to return to and we play sign up because remember none of your positioning systems there we go silent through that hole which most submarines are designed to somehow run on anyway to some degree you know, they freak the computer on board that sort of thing. But um, so this dark hole you can sort of cut anywhere between two points, and there's free flowing water. And this is how the symbionts have been getting. We've been cutting them from a Sisia vault, which is the main vault where there's every symbiont. Where I'll put a water moon inside. It's treated with fresh water, and it's about 30 degrees. All the time, the symbionts turn up in, go through the dark hole into the sewer, run through the sewer traps of the dark hole straight to your nearest track. Knowing exactly where you are and jump on your bum. That's how the symbiont's being with dark hole. But what John's going to work on is a track dark hole cutter so he can drive a train through. How's that sound? I'll show you. The wrong can go to your crime, it's not like you use the solid state. So if we run some tests, but we know it's quite, doesn't, beaming through it, going through it, doesn't actually hinder health in any way. Hasn't seemed to affect the symbionts. I didn't really consider that at the time. I just wanted the solution. Anyway, there you go.